Essentially, alcohol on its own is toxic to the, the liver. Uh, cocaine on its own is toxic to the liver and also dangerous to the heart. You, you know, it, it's, it's a stimulant, it, it increases the heart rate. Um, put them together and the damage is double, essentially. And this substance, cocoethanol, um, that's created is, is so damaging you know, to the liver um, and so much more. And I suppose the danger is, is that the more cocaine you take, um, cocaine has the opposite effect to alcohol. So alcohol is a depressant on the body. It slows down the heart rate. It slows down your breathing. It relaxes you. Cocaine is a stimulant. It increases your heart rate, increases your breathing, and, and it makes you want to stay awake and be alert. So if you combine the two, using cocaine allows you to continue using alcohol for longer. Without cocaine, alcohol use would eventually cause people to pass out, fall asleep. Um, so not only is this substance more toxic, but it also allows you to carry on using more alcohol, which then becomes more toxic. And that doesn't mean they're balancing each other so that you're actually fine because <laughs> yeah. you were slowed down and speeded up. Right as well. I, I, think, I think theoretically, I mean, the, the body is, is designed to try and regulate itself. I think what, what tends to happen when you combine drugs like that is you get the roller coaster effect, that instead of sort of having this nine, nice line, mm. the body's going like this and it doesn't know which way to turn. Um, I mean, that, that's why we get withdrawal effects, um, is because the body naturally wants to bring us back to a kind of um, neutral line um, and natural and our sort of normal way of functioning. So with alcohol, if you're taking alcohol and you have this depressant effect, um, the body increases the heart rate to um, compensate for that. When you stop taking the drug, the, it takes a while for the body to realise that, so you continue with the, the effect, the counteractive effect. So that's why getting the shakes after you've been drinking, uh, getting the sweats and heart palpitations is essentially your body trying to counteract the effects of alcohol.